Yes, we'll continue with our Kraken related news here uh, with the Kansas City Mavericks, the Kraken's ECHL affiliate. Um, the Mavericks played two games over the past week, both against the Wichita Thunder, March 17th versus the Wichita Thunder, a 5-2 to two win. A player of the game forward, Nick Pastyov, uh, one goal, one assist, two points, a two plus minus, and three shots for Pastyov there. Uh, and then March 18th at the Wichita Thunder, a 3-1 to one loss, unfortunately. Our player of the game forward, Hugo Boy. Um, I say it like that. Um, because the announcer for the Mavericks says it like that. Hugo, it doesn't sound like Roy, but it's spelled like Roy, like Roy Kent. Um, one goal, one point, and two shots. Uh, so tough one there, I mean, against Wichita. Um, the Mavericks are in an interesting position. They continue to battle for a playoff spot. If we go to the ECHL standings here in terms of division, um, the Mavericks have actually fallen into third place in their division. They were in second, but the Allen Americans, um, I believe who the Kraken were affiliated with last year, have overtaken them. They're tied for points, but the Americans have the tiebreaker here. It's a tight spot in the uh, in the division that the Mavericks are in. They're in the mountain division, um, excuse me, of the ECHL. And uh, so the Idaho Steelheads are the top spot. They got 99 points. They're far and above everybody else. The Allen Americans and the Kansas City Mavericks both have 62 points. And then fourth and fifth place in the Utah Grizzlies and the Wichita Thunder both sit at 61 points. And even sixth place in the Rapid City Rush sit at 59 points. So it's it's a tight – so six through two is separated by three points overall in the standings here, which is a, <laughs> it's a little bit of a problem. So the Mavericks are battling for their own spot here. They made a bunch of signings recently. So um, – We'll get to that here in a second, but I want to go with uh, St. Patrick's Day taking place. We'll go over the Mavericks um, St. Patrick's Day jerseys as well, as you can see here. Uh, it's kind of funny that I chose both captains for the photos of the uh, uh, St. Patrick's Day photos for the Kraken affiliates. So uh, you can get a nice look at that. All righty. We'll go over to team notes here on the 16th. Um, 16th through 18th, the team made a total of four deals um, in terms of player personnel. On 16th, the team um, – oh, yes, the team had forward Luke Stevens recalled by the Coachella Valley Firebirds, like we mentioned in the Firebird segment. Um, on the 16th, the team also signed forward Griff, Jessica back to Kansas City, and forward Casey Carew um, from Niagara University. On the 17th, the team signed uh, defenseman Elias Rosen from Bemidji State – to an amateur tryout deal. And then on the 18th, in a trade, the team acquired Ford Matthew Foget via trade uh, with Orlando Solar Bears uh, for defenseman Jay Powell. So over the last few weeks, Kansas City's made a bunch of different moves. And um, I mean, it's not like the Mavericks have been a great team throughout. Since we've had CSS Futures, they've kind of been here and there. And uh, to be fair, they've played some of the better teams in the ECHL. Um, but interesting to see the moves that are being made by them um, and at the consistency that they've been at. Uh, if that makes sense, you know, with the season coming to a close, it's going to be really tight here as we get closer and closer to the end of the ECHL season, um, which is, is is pretty close, like a bunch of other leagues. Um, but, I mean, it's still it, it, there's still a very real possibility. Uh, but it's going to be tight. It's going to be really tight. So uh, we look ahead. Oh, I didn't say the record for the Firebirds. I apologize. We'll say the record for the Mavericks. They sit at a 27 win, 26 loss, 25 loss, my apologies, six overtime loss, two shootout loss record, third in their division, and seventh in the conference. Looking ahead, they will play the Tulsa Oilers a total of three times over the next week, all back to back to back March 24th and 25th will be at home. Those are both 5 5 PM starts against Tulsa. And then March 26th is at Tulsa uh, with a 2 5 PM puck drop against the Oilers. Tulsa. Uh, it's been a tough one. Uh, as I mentioned, it's going to be really, really close here uh, for the Mavericks. But, uh, you know, I mentioned it being a tough one, but the Oilers are actually at the bottom of the division at 46 points and 19 win, 32 loss, seven overtime loss, and one shootout loss record. So could be a trap, uh, but you play them for three games. So you have to probably win at least two of those. You probably want to win all three of them, considering how bad Tulsa's been. But 
we'll uh, we'll have to see about that. 